Hi everybody, it's Martin from the Washboard Resonators. Do you want to know about s bottleneck slides? If you do, look, I've got every kind here really. So on this video, I'm going to um, explain the differences and also demonstrate them. And by the end, you should know everything you need to know about bottleneck guitar slides. Roll the tape. So on this video, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to um, explain the sort of three main kinds and the different materials and the different qualities and how they will impact the sound. I'm then going to do some sound clips comparing an acoustic guitar, a resonator guitar and an electric guitar because they do affect different instruments differently. And at the end, I've got a few thoughts to share, which I hope help. So let's get down to materials first. Now, you probably start with, um, you know, as a guitar player, you probably start here. You go into a music shop, you go online, you buy these kind of products, Dunlop kind of products, which are relatively affordable, you know, 10, 15, $20, a metal slide or a glass slide. They sound different. Let's just start with, ah, let's just start with the glass slides. Can't even speak. What I have here are the um, four stages of glass slides. So straight away here, you might start with something like this. This is a Dunlop slide, relatively expensive, relatively lightweight. It's made out of Pyrex, which is the kind of glass that you use. You know, you might have like, um, you know, um, glass bowls that you can put in the oven for when you're cooking. Um, cheap to make, easy to produce. Um, you know, glass generally has a warmer sound. Um, the next step up is another Pyrex slide. This is made by Silica Sound. Great company, great guy to deal with. Now, this is something that might be of interest. I have relatively small fingers. Now, I also know people that have massive hands and massive fingers. And both me and these other people struggle to find slides that fit. The great thing about a company like Silica uh, Slides is that Silica Sound, is that you can speak to them and they will custom fit you. So this was custom made for me, was this one. And this has like a lip on the inside where it's, the glass is thicker at the end and then it's thin in there. It's a really nice fit. So when I went from this Dunlop slide to the Silica, I noticed a big difference in sound. This is a much better quality product. The next stage up is you go to somewhere like Diamond Bottlenecks that are in England and they make the best hands down the best glass slides in the world. Mark Knopfler uses these, Eric Clapton uses these. Um, now, to start off with, Ian at Diamond Bottlenecks, and, and actually we did a podcast with Ian on our Washboard Resonators Presents podcast, I'll pop a link below, um, where he talks about the process of, of making these and how he came into business. It's a great podcast, really interesting, well worth getting, um, you know, a kind of uh, handle on these products. Anyway, so Ian, has these, which is the very traditional glass slide. Um, this is literally from a wine bottle. It's been cut and shaped and very nice. And I would say that that's, a, that's an improvement in sound again. And actually quite a traditional sound. You'll hear later on when I, when I test these, you'll, you'll hear, I think, that that um, wine bottle glass slide sounds very authentic if you've heard a lot of the old kind of 20s, 30s, 40s recordings. Now this to me is my personal favorite. These um, are much thicker glass. They're made out of crystal glass and not Pyrex. This is, this is expensive glass to produce, um, high quality, much more dense kind of glass, much more weight to it. What I like about, say, this is that when you play an open string on your resonator and then you, you, uh, you, know, you, you, you make the note with this glass slide, there's no drop in volume. Next up, we have metal slides. So this is kind of chrome steel. Um, again, this is Dunlop. I bought this, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago and um, relatively inexpensive. Generally speaking, you'd expect metal slides to have um, a bit more kind of ring and zinginess, which is true. That might suit your style or the sound that you're after. Um, this one here is, again, probably the, the, the metal equivalent of, say, a diamond bottleneck. This is probably the world's best. So... Um, this is made by a company called Daddy Slide in Germany. And it's custom, again, custom made for me to fit my finger. 
And what this is, is you see this, um, this Dunlop slide here. Well, this is technically a tube. So this is a piece of steel that then gets folded and joined and then nickel plated. Now, what is said to me, what, what's been told to me by various people is that when you do that and then you kind of weld that join, structurally, that piece of metal has lost some integrity. Um, what, dime, uh, what Daddy Slide do is they take a solid bar of the metal of your choice and they bore this out on a lathe and they custom fit it if you want that. And what's meant to happen is it makes for a much better sound, a much more efficient sound. And that seems to be the case. This one is in phosphor bronze, which is kind of like a, a, the, the middle kind of um, metal that you can choose. So it's kind of got some of the warmth of glass, some of the zing of kind of steel and metal. Um, that one ran to about $70, um, uh, sorry, 70 pounds, which is probably about $90. And lastly, um, Ceramic slides. These are the ones that maybe people don't quite know as much about. So these are made with, you know, clay and pot and they're fired and, and they're covered. Now, interestingly, I was about to do this video this week and then I got a con I contacted on Instagram, the band's Instagram, and a chap here in England, Celestial Slides. He said, would you like to try some of these? So I was like, yeah, great, thanks. So he sent me some of these slides. They're beautiful. They're really well made. Really nice guy. Lovely to deal with. And... Um, you know what? These kind of uh, ceramic slides, they're an interesting one. They've got a warmth. They've got an edge to the sound. So, you know, they do kind of, in some ways, span a metal and a, and a glass slide in some ways. They're lightweight, which is nice. You know, I, I, I know people that have had problems with these. If you drop them, they can break much more easily. So, you know, you've got to be careful and stuff. But, um, you know, I think... My experience is that these are great and electric, you know, although you might feel differently, we're going to try these all very shortly and you can tell us what you think. Okay, so let's do the sounds now. Um, I'm going to start with this acoustic guitar, my 1899 Washburn um, guitar, because uh, I find often that slides sound the most different um, on an acoustic guitar. Before we get into that, um, if you find these videos useful, then like and subscribe down here. That really helps. Um, leave a comment, go to the description. And the best way to support us is to join the mailing list. It's in a link down there. And, you know, if you like supporting, you know, um, independent artists, that is the best way. Because we can tell you when we've got songs and music and tours and, and it just helps us share what we do. Right then, I'm going to flash up what's what. And you can hear the difference. So there we go, that's uh, the first run through of all the kind of main slide types on an acoustic. Did you even hear a difference? Did you have a preference? If so, do leave a comment. Um, now's a good time to say as well, if you if you kind of, you know, are interested in learning slide guitar, we, um, even last week, we produced a beginner's slide guitar video and we've done others about open G tuning and teaching four or five different kind of songs within that lesson. Um, I'll flash up them up and I'll pop the links below for you so you can, um, you know, if you're into this stuff, you can keep learning. Um, yeah, so let's now do the same again on my 1931 Steel Body National Resonator.
then, so I've got um, this 61 SG uh, reissue, uh, which is a really nice guitar actually. Might let this one go soon because uh, I've seen some resonators I want to buy. Um, so do get in touch. But yeah, um, it's basically here I've got the sort of Derek truck setup. It's a, it's a, an SG. I think this is these are tens, low action. I've got this in open E, whereas the other guitars were in open D, just so that there's some more tension on the strings. So, you know, on those videos, uh, the lesson videos, I talk on one of the videos about how, to me, electric guitar and slide is a sort of different animal. When you're playing acoustic, you really sort of, I use finger picks, you dig in, you're trying to make the sustain, you know, um, acoustically. So that's where a good, a good metal slide or a good glass slide can really help with that. When you're playing electric, I find if you put on like, I've got, um, I'm going to stack a um, rat and I'm going to stack a tube screamer. And what you get with that is a kind of... You get a kind of thing that happens electrically uh, on electric guitars with um, the sustain happening for you. And it's more like a violin. You think about a violin that kind of can sustain forever almost if you've got good bow technique. It's a different kind of thing. So, um, look, let's hear the differences and then let's do some thoughts at the end. clean sound so you could hear the difference and um, you know what I find when you've got the kind of bigger sound the difference between say something really special like a daddy slide I mean you could go and have a bite and that'll still be springing and, and, and a diamond bottleneck You know, the glass is a bit smoother. I've really enjoyed when I've been using these um, celestial slides. Um, I've been enjoying these on electric. I'll just do the cheapo Pyrex. is that when you've got the distortion on and you're playing in that other kind of style is the differences are lesser but I, I actually like this I think this um, ceramic slide it kind of it's got the smoothness and the fatness and the kind of uh, some sort of mid clarity for the electric which is really nice which really brings us to the thoughts at the end doesn't it I mean what are my thoughts on this what can I share um, e you know, I think the differences are more marked on an acoustic guitar. I do think that. Um, and this is where, if you're into this stuff, you know, um, don't be afraid to buy one of each of these and experiment. I know people with 70, 80, 90 slides. I'm, I'm not even joking. Um, you know, I have about 15. And, um, you know, I find sometimes when I'm maybe playing a different instrument, here in my music room, I might be writing a song and I pick up a guitar that I don't normally use. I might even pick up a slide that I don't normally use. And I might find sometimes that a certain slide combo and guitar combo is really good. And it kind of takes me somewhere else if I'm writing some new washboard resonators songs or solo songs or whatever. Um, you know, so don't be afraid to sort of try these different things and, and see which works for you or what, what works in different styles and on different instruments. Um, to put it into a nutshell, I think it's it's clear to see now that I just like glass. I, I personally prefer glass. I find when I'm doing, um, you know, faster runs, I really like the um, the sound of glass. And when I discovered these diamond bottlenecks, because I could go and get fitted actually in Ian's workshop with my little tiny small hands, um, that really helped. But but the, the, the width of the glass 
um, the, the, the thickness of the glass I like for technique because what I find is I do less moving because the glass is so thick. The movements are very small when I'm playing. And I really like that. Um, so it's obvious that I like glass and then I like the world's best glass slides and there they are. And they're about, I think, £40 or $60, something like that, from, depending on what you have from memory. Um, it's really cool. Um, you know what? I think, you know, personally, I probably like the ceramic on the electric um, or possibly, you know, or, or the uh, the daddy slide, the phosphor bronze, has a really nice kind of sound for this kind of different style of electric playing. Um, when you're playing the resonator and you're playing with, uh, you know, this one has 13s on it, but um, my gigging guitar, my gigging resonator has 16s. And again, that's where, for me, you're trying to dig all the sound and all the sustain out with your hands acoustically. Um, that's the guitar that I use on stage with washboard resonators. That's where, for me, that thick glass gets the best sustain on those really thick strings, the 16 gauge strings that my, my tricone has. So, um, look, there's a lot of information, but I hope it helps. Um, so, you know, you know, if it does, good. Like and subscribe. Um, buy us a coffee down in the link, join the mailing list. Um, if you want to learn more, go to the links for those uh, slide guitar lessons. That should hopefully help you get um, the first, you know, there's one which is just all about technique and beginning. Then there's some that go into more in depth in open D and open G. And then there's, a, there's a, uh, then there's one which then is, is all about open G. And I should do some more. So do drop a comment if there's anything you'd like to see, anything you'd like help with. Um, you know what? We love making videos and sharing information about blues and, and ragtime and resonator guitars and, and just anything to do with that kind of genre and that era. We really want to help. We want our channel to be a resource that really helps people. So do let us know what can help you. So do you know what? It's very rare that I have um, all this stuff set up um, and one of these guitars out. So I am now going to while away the afternoon drinking coffee and uh, making a racket. So thank you very much. Bye bye for now. Nah.